What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, I actually woke up on time and I'm doing something that uh, I haven't really done in a while, which is wake up and go for some early morning sunrise crappies. Well, not really a sunrise, because woke up to some snow on the ground. Only a couple inches, but everything's looking nice and pretty up here. All the trees are covered and this is definitely what I was looking forward to. Not really the snow, but just like the sight of snow if that makes any sense but like i said i am out here early in the morning gonna be hitting a lake that i tried a couple videos ago uh it was the last half of the lake i think that we uploaded on thanksgiving and caught some crappies but nothing really out of the ordinary i mean just your standard smaller crappies but that was the first time i've ever been here since then my buddies cody and jason which He's actually out here today with me, so I'll go over and talk to him in a little bit. But they actually came back out here and found some found some decent crappies. So that's pretty exciting. So we're giving it another shot today. That is going to be the goal. We're doing it a little different than you would normally think on a lake. We are going to be tight against shore in some trees. Well, at least we're hoping that's where they're going to be. I'm going to get the live scope, get everything set up. Jason's already got a bunch of holes, and we're going to see if we can catch some crappies. So stay tuned, guys going on what's up ready to cut some fish i'm ready i've been checking some holes and i'm not seeing much yet but uh we're gonna search as you can tell he's got the live scope down there he's got a lot bigger screen than what i got so that is a nice image <laughs> but live scope is live scope and i had we're a 10 inch screen last year I, I actually downsized what the <laughs> i was gonna say i thought i used to take mine off my boat but then it just it became too cumbersome to always swap it and i decided just to buy a separate unit for ice fishing so, wow <laughs> yeah well, everybody, if you don't know, this is Jason. He is from PC Fun. What are you, the director? Or... I am the, now, I'm the vice president of marketing for PC Fun. So, wow, fancy. Yeah, fancy name, but uh, basically I fish a lot and do a lot of social media stuff. Uh, but I also help with design and all sorts of fun stuff. So I basically get to fish for a living, which I'm very fortunate to do. Yeah, that guy is living the life versus <laughs> I have to still go to work, which is funny thing. I'm actually filming this before I have to go to work at noon today, just to give you guys kind of a perspective of what my life is. I basically work, fish, edit, sleep, kind of, and then fish some more. So yeah, we got the live scope. Both of us are going to be running that and I'm going to go get it and we're going to see if we can catch some crappies. There we go, first fish. Decent little crappie, you can tell. Starting the day off by using Frostbite Dinner Bell. That's not a bad starter. Hopefully they just keep getting bigger from there. And the only fish that I had marked on the screen though, so they're not really schooled up. We've drilled a decent amount of holes so far today. And that was the first fish. Looks like we found a couple fish. This one's probably gonna hit. Oh yeah, look at him raise. There he is. Small little crappie. But there's a couple of them. Let's drop her back down, see if we can get one again. We got two, one of these are gonna hit. Here he comes. Jeez.
another crappie. They seem pretty aggressive if you can find them. They're just not really schooling up a ton. Not giant. It's a nice, nice average size. Well, they're bigger in here. Just gotta find out where they're at. A little better. There we go. It's a nicer one. Biggest of the day so far. There's a couple marks. We are really, really searching for these fish. That is for sure. Probably drilled like a hundred holes, I feel like, at this point. They're not really schooled up. Like right now I have two more on my screen, but that's really been the most I've seen is just two or three at a time. This one looks like he's gonna hit. Oh, we got one coming in from the side. Seems like a bigger fish. See if he hits. Come on, come on, come on. Right under me. And I just ripped him. It was bigger. Oh, dang it. Definitely a bigger fish. Oh, God. Looks like he's coming back, though. Oh, yeah, he's coming back. There we go. A little bit nicer. Having a hard time getting them out with the transducer, but another decent crappie. There's more of them. Went back to the original holes that we had next to the tree. And now there's fish here. There was not fish here earlier in the morning, which was kind of bizarre. I did have the GoPro on the Garmin, but I've actually been recording a decent amount, so the battery died. So that is why you guys are not getting any Garmin footage. Kind of hard to record with it when you don't have battery. God, I just ripped his lip. Oh, I got another one coming. Oh, this one's bigger than the other one. Oh, it's a big fish, I think. Oh, come on. How did he not hit? That's definitely a nicer crappie. There it is. Not a giant, but thought it was a lot bigger. But I gotta remember that I'm in seven feet of water. So everything looks big on the live scope right now in that. These fish are just scattered everywhere. It, it doesn't matter what hole we're in, where. I mean, we're in seven feet, we've caught them at 25 feet. It doesn't even matter. They're just everywhere. Just not schooling up though. It's insane. Oh, that one's nicer. A little bit. Better crappie. The bigger ones that are suspended, they definitely don't waste any time coming in and hitting. Pretty much been the average size so far today. A couple of fish on this side. Got another one coming. Seems like a better mark. Oh gosh, slammed it. All right, well, we're going up in size. Only took about 200 holes, but we're finally getting them. Look at that dinner bell. It is completely engulfed. They're aggressive over here. Looks like I got a decent one on the bottom right now. Oh yeah, this guy's spending no time coming in. Probably gonna crush it. Three, two, one. And I missed it. <laughs> okay, this one's gonna hit. Let's try not to miss this one. And I missed it, go figure. All right, you guys. Well, as you can tell, we are in the middle of a blizzard right now. Snow's coming down pretty good. Actually, this weekend we are supposed to be getting like 10 to 12 inches of snow. So that is definitely going to shut down some of the ice fishing, that is for sure. But then right after that, we are actually having a really good cold snap, which is much, much needed. 
and hopefully that'll lock up some of the bigger lakes. The ones that are open right now actually might benefit from this because we'll get all that snow, it won't affect any of the ice, then we'll have three or four days of solid making ice conditions. Those bigger lakes will freeze, which means it'll be nice, clear, early ice and can get out on some bigger lakes and hopefully go for some walleyes. I have to get going, unfortunately, I do have to work again. Seems like I work every day, which I do. But that's all right. Still fun to get out here, especially with Jason. Me and him don't fish a whole lot together, but definitely probably will a lot this winter. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't like all that great and it definitely had to search for some fish, but we did manage to get some crappies. So overall, decent day. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a like. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we are going to be posting a ton of ice fishing content the rest of the year. Our goal is to have three videos a week. So if you guys are new here, which I know a lot of you are, so thank you for subscribing. But we upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. We're gonna be trying to continue that the entire season. And uh, yes, should be good. The only thing I would like to say is, yes, I do have a full-time job. Brandon does as well. So some of the content is not gonna be I don't want to say bad but it's not going to be as top tier as like say when we can go out on a weekend it's brandon and i we can really spend a lot more time filming so some of these videos like today for an example i'm filming this before i have to go to work so i only get a couple hours to get out here try to film a video so if you guys don't mind uh, we're going to keep doing that because if we're going to keep this three upload schedule we have to find time to get out and fish which is sometimes during work and you have to deal with some of the conditions but that is enough rambling i have to get on out of here pack up all my stuff again if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a like make sure you're subscribed and i will talk to you guys on the next one tight lines from nb edit